What up, y'all? Uh, we're kicking it again. Uh, our game video reaction to the Black Slim Shady got some traction. We just wanted to clarify some things. So, uh, this is Shannon. Art. And this is the Shark Show. Roll the music. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Shark Show. Um, we uh, reviewed the games, the Black Slim Shady, and we didn't like it. We didn't catch a lot of the racial bars. Um, we understand that that uh, we got some comments and stuff, and it kind of made me uh, realize maybe there's a little more division in bigger cities than I had realized that than we have here. You know what I mean? Um, this town that we live in uh, is the second biggest city in Wyoming. Uh, but back in the 80s, it was the biggest city in Wyoming, and there was uh, a big Latino and black population, and we were all pushed to one side of town. Now, through the years, everybody's moved out, done their own thing. That old neighborhood that was all black is now all tweaker. You know what I mean? And it's white neighborhood. It's been gentrified by methamphetamine addicts. Not all. Let me throw that out there, because not all. I don't want to get some backlash saying, you know, everybody in North Casper is a tweaker, but I'm just saying, you know, most of the population that was uh, my, a minority has moved out of there. You know what I mean? It's, has kind of intermixed with the rest of the city. So uh, the division that stands like that doesn't stand. When you're rolling through a hood here, there's about an equal amount of black people at your party. I mean, you, there's they're bumping m and M, dude. I mean, the people... Minorities here that grew up differently. Me, I grew up a lot, you know, when I was younger around black people, Mexicans, and then through the 90s, started integrating a lot more white, and we were bumping Eminem, uh, me, the Mexican, white homies, and the black homies. So that's just uh, the culture we live in, but we understand that in a lot of bigger cities, it's still really uh, divided, you know, uh, racially divided, culturally divided, and it's something that we weren't expecting, you know? But uh, we did watch a video where, uh, what's his name, Hit Boy, Hit Boy, a hit producer out of, uh, you know, uh, California was talking, and uh, in the video, let me, let me just go ahead and show it to you, because, like, pfft, right? The shit, the Black Slim Shady shit, the first half. Let's talk about it. The first half, he paying homage to Slim. Okay. That was the first half I did. Oh, okay. Talk, I love talk, my nigga okay. game. I love Eminem too. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Okay. At okay. the end of the day, bro, the nigga, you know, he started going kind of crazy on the second half. I didn't do the second half. When I gave him the batch of beats, it was in a batch of a gang of other fire shit. Okay. I go back to my session. I'm, chop, I'm, I'm chopping samples. I'm taking it for like hours. I go back to this shit. Okay. He got Black Slim Shady over my beat. <laughs> and then he ended up at the second half where he kind of really went in on the shit. But at the end of the day, my first half, that shit is straight. Just like paying homage to Slim. So in the video, he was kind of distancing himself from, from like the diss part of the Black Slim Shady. What do you think about that? I couldn't really catch what he was saying. Well, he was kind of like saying like, okay, the first half of that song was supposed to be an homage to, to Slim Shady, you know? And then he left, went to go work on some other stuff, came back to the studio. Uh, the game had already produced, finished it. finished it. And the second part of the track was all the diss and stuff. But Hit Boy, Hit Boy had already gave him like a bunch of beats. And that's, that's the excuse that... That, that Hit Boys went out there. It's like, yo, bro, I didn't know he was going to come at you with this. And you know what I mean? He doesn't want nothing to do with it. He doesn't want the smoke. No, because... I wouldn't want anything to do with it either. Right. Kind of don't. So yeah. I'm letting you speak for we, even though I may not feel exactly the same as you. Well, how do you feel okay. about it? Like, what, what kind of, like, being white, what do, you, what do you feel like when you hear the game just, like, throwing out shit? Like, you're not white. Or you're not black. You what know? does that have to do with anything? That that's that's my point. I thought that. we settled that like years ago when Eminem was first getting big. He's like, yeah, I'm white. Yeah, I'm white. That's all that everybody talked about. So I think it's fair to say that he's accepted the fact that he's white. Um, 
So you, you, you think the game just came with some old, played out shit? I think he came with the only shit that people really can. Mm. And I feel like, you know, why Why did you have to drag race into it? I don't right. know. Well, and then, you know, when the game said he wasn't respected by the culture, the culture ain't bumping him, dude. I mean, like, he's inspired artists like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? Those are part of the culture. Uh, he's inspired artists like uh, Logic. Uh, you know what I mean? I, those guys are are part of the culture. As far as you know what I'm saying, you guys are bumping them in the hood. Eminem inspired them. Some of their music has kind of resonated off them. Um, Big Sean from Detroit, you know what I'm saying, says that he was listening to Eminem back in the day, and maybe that's just because he's like from Detroit, but whatever it is. Yeah, they were, they were bumping Eminem. It's a new style, man. Like some of the old, old gangsters and stuff like that, and wherever you're from, I, I don't know what it is or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I bet they're not listening to him in Harlem. You know what I mean? I understand that. They probably got some other artists they'd rather listen to, you know, uh, that, that represent more of their life. But, you know what I'm saying? The black middle class in Casper, we're bumping them in that. I figure to each their own. Yeah. Um, You know, because I'm white doesn't mean I listen to banjo picking all the time. <laughs> Uh, because you're Hispanic, I don't expect to hear mariachi music coming right. out of your minivan. Like, I just, <laughs> she I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> She had to put me on bus. She know I drive a minivan, man. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't think you have to listen to a certain type of music or be right. anything based off of race. And um, as far as the culture goes, obviously, I don't have anything to say on that um just like obviously any rapper now has probably heard eminem right and was inspired one way or the other by right it. right and and another thing too is he says he hates eminem so much so why are you using why are you using this flow you know why are you, if you're trying to deliver a painful message like i understand maybe like i guess to me if you were telling me i wasn't like white or black or uh, Asian, I, it, it wouldn't it upset me. Like, if you were like, ah, oh, God, you wish you were Chinese. I'm like, what? what you That's exactly what I'm saying. It's it's, it's almost offensive. Yeah. Like, why would he want to be anything but what he is and who he is? Right. Just right. saying. Just saying. Right. Well, you know, it was just a, it was just a, well, at bottom line, it was a lame and a tent for cloud chasing. Oh man, so much name dropping in that song. I've only listened to it the one time that you mm -hmm. recorded, and I just yeah, no, I wasn't impressed. And we apologize for our last video too. It got cut short because YouTube cut it out on some copyright issues. Um, and by now it's just whatever. We're not gonna re-upload it. Y'all heard the last verse. Whatever you thought about it, and you know what we thought about it. Um, so yeah, it was just a, uh, it's cloud chasing, but it's very, very crazy to see. That uh, the producer is like, ah, oh, wait a minute, man. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't sign up for this. This isn't what I signed up for. That's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? That's, I think it's funny. That is funny because it's like, wait a minute. Because I feel working. bad for that guy. Because yeah. yeah, that's like that's like okay, hey, like here in Wyoming, we 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 sell and we trade guns, right? I would feel like shit if I fucking sold a gun to somebody, and they used that gun to fucking like shoot somebody shoot up a place or something like that. I'd feel terrible. And that's kind of the the thing maybe Hip Boy's feeling right now. Is he like, thought he was going hunting yeah. and it turns out he was, you know, going all crazy. Yeah, yeah. He thought he was going to just do like a fucking dope-ass track and, and came out with some... Shit. Some shit. Yeah, some shit. Whether you like it or not. Whatever. Whether you like it or that's not. That's my opinion. That's our opinion. Uh, but anyway, we just wanted to get back at those. And, and we, you know what I'm saying? Like, one thing I'll never be is black, so I don't understand that culture. Just like you uh, being black or white don't understand full Latino culture like me being uh, Mexican doesn't understand a lot of white things. But you know what? The inclusion of those things, like, I don't know. I don't do a lot of uh, things that when I, when I was younger I thought were, like, white activities. I've now learned to enjoy. Um, not just learn to enjoy. They, I just enjoy them. I mean, they were fun. Uh, you know what I mean? Such as? Uh, hunting. Hunting, you know what I mean? Like, uh, 
<laughs> the white activity? Well, I mean, for us, it was a white activity because, you know what I mean? In Mexico, yeah. yeah, in Mexico, you hunt, you just go hunt. You don't need a license, you don't need anything like that. You just, you go hunt. For here, it's like ritualistic, man. You got to have this uh, blind, you got to have this, you know, kind of buckshot if you're fighting this bird. It's a science here when Mexico's like, man, I'm going to eat that thing. <laughs> Let's I don't go kill it. it. Let's go kill it. I don't need it on my wall. I need it in my belly. But here it's kind of a different different experience, and that that's fun to me. Uh, lifted trucks like that, you know what I mean? We borrow from from all kind of cultures now. You know what I'm saying? Lifted truck is definitely a white boy thing. They started this off road shit, for real. Um, just like low riders are a, a Mexican thing. You know what I'm saying? The black guys have embraced as well. You know what I mean? So rolling shit like that, it's just it is what it is. We're gonna borrow from everybody and try to expand on that, man. I mean, that's how everybody becomes one. That's how everybody becomes a better person by understanding a little bit of everybody's shit, you know. And and um, being a little sheltered in Wyoming, we don't understand a lot of the inner city shit. Um, but you know, we're open to it. We're not closed off to it. And uh, definitely, uh, we 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 want to experience as much as we can. You know what I mean? I'm always open uh, up to learning and finding out things about people. I think people are what's interesting about life. Yeah. I like learning other people's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And just because somebody's different than you doesn't make them bad or right, weird right. or strange. Oh, we need to go to a new place. We have something else to talk about. We do. We need to go someplace new. I definitely Hit like and subscribe. Yeah. Hit the notification bell so you know when we did some stuff. Maybe if we get popular, we could go on a vacation. That'd be cool. Yeah, we could go do more stuff. And you know we love to do crazy stuff. So definitely check us out. This is the Shark Show. Bye.